This is a video series from the European Reference Network Cranio. Intubation through the laryngeal mask. Preparation Thorough preparation is essential before performing a flexible intubation through the laryngeal mask. After selecting an age-appropriate tube, make sure that the tube fits through the laryngeal mask and that the flexible scope fits through the endotracheal tube. Apply sufficient lubricant. After removing the 15 mm adapter, put the flexible scope through the tube and fix the tube using a plaster. Flexible endoscopy through the laryngeal mask. The patient is ventilated over the laryngeal mask. A special connector is used to run the flexible endoscope through the laryngeal mask. A good view of the larynx is obtained. If needed, the larynx can be anesthetized using application of topical lidocaine. Endoscopy through the trachea and insertion of the endotracheal tube. The flexible scope is passed through the vocal cords down into the trachea up until the level of the carina. Then the endotracheal tube is slid off the flexible scope into the tracheal lumen. After the correct position of the endotracheal tube in the trachea is confirmed, the flexible scope is retracted from the endotracheal tube and the 15 mm adapter is replaced on the tube. Adequate position of the tube must also be confirmed by Kepnography. Removing the laryngeal mask. After adequate ventilation through the endotracheal tube is confirmed, a second tube with a smaller size is placed on the endotracheal tube in order to maintain its position when removing the laryngeal mask. In order to remove a pediatric size laryngeal mask, the cuff needs to be cut. Hold the tube in place and gently remove the laryngeal mask. Inflation of the cuff. When a cuff tube is needed, the cuff can be inflated by placing an intravenous cannula in the cuff channel and using a syringe or cuff pressure gauge to inflate the cuff. A three-way valve or a cap can be used to close the cannula lumen. <laughs> 